hi loves welcome back to my channel a lot of you guys have been asking me to do voiceovers so here i am doing a voiceover today we are doing a extra long um sculpted square gel x set with leopard print super cute cute for the fall time so right now i am just uh, removing any shine from her nails any of the residue that's left on her nails we just uh soaked off her nails um a lot of you guys asked me to do a video soaking off and i mean to but i forget um so yeah i'll try to get that recorded for you guys but i am going in with a fine sanding band at a very low speed probably like 2000 rpms or less not that not that high but um and then it also kind of removes any cuticle on the nail bed as well so now i am going in with my favorite small round um cuticle bit that i got off amazon i also will link it down below in my amazon storefront um or i'll link my amazon storefront down below and you can look for it in the drill bit section it comes in a pack of cuticle bits so you can't just like buy it separately um well this one at least so what i'm basically doing is going from left to right and i'm not drilling the nail bed per se i'm more so going towards the skin and i'm just kind of lightly pushing it up um it's kind of it works as a cuticle pusher for me and it works well and it just gets the skin on the nail bed just a little bit but not too much i'm really focusing on pushing the skin up as i'm drilling from left to right sorry i'm like thinking of what i'm trying to say <laughs> while i'm doing this voiceover this is why i don't do voiceovers because um i have to think about it sometimes but yeah this is exactly what i'm doing here and i do the same prep for my acrylic my gel x and it lasts um four to six weeks for my clients and they love it and they like this part because it feels good to them they say it feels like a massage so it doesn't hurt for any of you wondering um but yeah it's super satisfying as well So we're going in with the Chan Legend um, Extra Long Sculpted Square from A Prey or a collab with A Prey. And I'm just going to go in and measure. So her nail beds are pretty even. So I just grabbed two of each size. And you want to measure from sidewall to sidewall. Um, if you do come across a point where the nail is too small or too big, always go with the bigger size and just file it down to fit their nail bed because you don't want to go with a size too small because then it can lift, it can pop off, um, it just won't last as long. And it might hurt them because if you're trying to squeeze it on their nail, the pressure of um, you squeezing it on their nail will irritate them in the long run so make sure the nail fits perfectly sidewall to sidewall when you do apply like gel legs you don't want to put too much pressure you want everything to be nice and you know easy application So I'm going to go in with the same sanding band that I used on her natural nails and etch the underside of the tip. Um, I just like that rough texture because I feel like the gel adheres better to it. And also what I've been doing lately is flipping the nail over and kind of etching that cuticle area in the sidewalls. Um, just so when I put the nail on, it gives it a nice flush look and I don't have to do much when it comes to sealing the cuticles. Sometimes the nail, when you put it on, it looks pretty flush but like not as flush as this and i like it it just makes my life easier when i seal cuticles and stuff like that so try it out if you haven't um i promise you you will like it
was a bring it back, back, back. I'm a big dog trying to eat the kitty cat, cat. I'm a slide in the way it fit. I can tell we match. Pull up on my racks, hella cheese. I don't put racks. Big crib in Hollywood. I don't even that. Come relax, let it be attack. What you want to act? Take a look. With the pop, wipe the pen away. You see him tighter than a virgin like what God say. I love when you give it and I love when you don't. Huh? Hit me with the three stomachs. Sometimes you won't. Huh? You tell me don't. With no is you know, nah. you got it, yeah, you got it, baby. Bust it on the floor. I keep it juicy, dude. I eat that lunch. She keep that booty, boo. Yeah. She keep that pump. That knows some beauty, beauty. Okay, so these are the two products that I use. I use the OPI Bond-Aid and the Prey Gel Primer. Um, you really can use any dehydrator you like. I, I would use the Prey one too, but I just don't have it and I don't feel like ordering it. Um, I have this one, so I'm just going to use this one. They both do the job just as good. And then um, I make sure I do use their gel primer because um, without it, I don't think the nails would last that well. So yeah. Here I am putting on the gel primer. So this is what I'm using to apply the gel. Um, this is the Apray extend gel in a bottle i usually use the jar because i like to get all my product but the convenience of the bottle is very nice so what i like to do is i like to swipe a thin layer um on the nail tip and then just put the rest of the product at the edge of the nail tip and lightly press down if you find yourself pressing the tip down way too hard then that means you need more gel it should not be hard to press down you should not force the gel to flow down it should just flow down naturally um, especially with sculpted tips if they have a more flatter nail bed and you want to use a sculpted tip you can um, you just have to put extra gel but sculpted tips are usually made for people with more curvier nail beds, a more more of a C curve nail bed. Um, it's easier. You don't have to put as much gel. But if you like the sculpted style and you have flat nail beds, you just have to put extra gel. So there are some fingers on here that you see I didn't put enough gel and I didn't want to force it down. Because when you force it down, the cuticle area starts to lift up. So you want to put a lot more gel and then just let it flow down nice and neat. Another reason why I like to paint on a thin layer like I'm doing right now is because it helps the gel flow down easier. It gives it like that direction for the gel to flow down. So I believe this is the finger that um, I put on that did not have enough gel. And you can see because the gel kind of stops towards the end or middle right here. And I found myself force, forcing it down. So I just went back in and put a little bit more gel and then you can see how much easier the gel flowed down without me having to put so much pressure on it. And it just makes your life easier.
All right, so now I'm going in with my Ivy Co. 100 100 Grit Nail Files. I promise you guys I am working as fast as I can on this website. It does take a lot of work, um, but I plan to have it at least released by mid-November, end of November. But if you guys want to follow Ivy Co. Um, sorry, not Ivy Co. Shop Ivy Co. on Instagram. I will announce when I will be releasing it. I, of course, will announce it when I um, do release it on YouTube and TikTok and stuff like that. But go ahead and give it a follow. Give my Instagram a follow if you want to stay up to date. I'm trying guys, I'm trying. But I love these files because I love the point of it. On one end, it's like a square shape and then on the this end right here, it's like a pointed shape. So it kind of helps get in like the little nooks and crannies easier. It also helps with doing like acrylic Frenchies. Like that pointed shape helps like with the smile line shaping. So yeah, I can't wait for you guys to try my products. Like I'm in love with them and I'm excited for you guys to get your hands on it as well. But here I am just crisping up the shape. She just wanted a taper square um, and just filing the edge, making it nice and sharp. So now I am going in with my small Panna Carbide Diamond Bit. Or is it Carbide? I'm not sure. It's a diamond bit. Um, it's on my Amazon storefront under Drill Bits. You can access my Amazon storefront in the description box. There is a link down there. But you see how it does not take me long to seal the cuticles because it's already nice and flush. I'm just cleaning it up, making sure there is no gel um, that may have seeped out that I didn't see while curing the tips. And yeah, it's super easy. It should only take you like a minute to do this or two. But you don't have to do much.
So now I'm gonna go in with OPI Tiramisu for two and I'm painting on a very thin layer because I just like it to be a little sheer. Um, if you polish too thick, it will be too pigmented to give it that nice natural nude look. But I only do one coat of this. And then on top, I'm going in with Samoan Sand by OPI as well. It gives it a nice um, tan nude kind of look, but I always mix my nudes because I feel like one nude doesn't look good just by itself, like especially for like doing Frenchies and stuff like that. Um, so I mix it so I can get the perfect color. And I do this for everybody. I make sure like the nude looks good on their skin tone. But this is like one of my favorite combos right now. Um, I always make different combos. But yeah, so that's what it is. Alright, so this step I feel like is a very important step for me and it should be an important step for you before you do any type of nail art. I just take a little bit of acetone and wipe off that inhibition sticky layer, whatever you call it. Um, it definitely helps your nail art to stay still and not spread and do all this crazy stuff. So I make sure I always do that. And we're going to go in with one of my gel colors. This one is called Cafe. Um, it's just a nice 
cute tan i love it so much and i'm also going in with my liner brushes um in the size 15 millimeters i also do use a size 7 millimeter in this video i believe or 9 one of those but i do have sizes 20 15 9 and 7 coming out and i really think you guys will love these brushes because i love them just makes my life so much easier um but yeah i'm basically just outlining the french doing deep french for all nails and i'm just gonna go back in with a bigger brush and fill it
All right, so I'm not really sure what size brush this one was. I think it's nine, I think. But yeah, we're gonna go in and do some leopard print, which I am obsessed with leopard print. It's so fun. Um, it's super cute, especially for fall time. But yeah, this is basically what I do. You don't have to make it super perfect. Like the more imperfect, imperfect, sorry, what am I saying? Just, I kind of do it kind of sloppy, but it looks good, you know? You don't want to have to sit there and make perfect little circles and, like, stuff. I just kind of just, like, flow with it. Have fun with it. And just put little dots here. Do little fillers. But, yeah. So, enjoy this little clip of me doing leopard print on all ten nails.
So my girl here loves glitter, so we are going in with a reflective glitter and just doing a thin line around the Frenchie, or not around, on the smile line of the Frenchie. And this is the Born Pretty um, reflective glitter that can also be found on my Amazon storefront. It will be under gel polish. Um, it comes in a set of five and they're super pretty. They're very small though, so it's not a huge bottle that will last very long, but I absolutely love these glitters. All right, and then I'm just gonna go in with my super shiny top coat. Um, this is not the bottle that it will come in, but this was the sample bottle, so I'm just using it up. Um, look at that shine, girl. Yeah, I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this. But yeah, so this is me just topping it, and after you top it, you wanna make sure you swipe the sides so it doesn't change the shape. Sometimes gel can run on the sides, so I just like to do that so my shape stays nice and crisp. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications to know when I post next. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Turn a pandemic into a pandemic, you know that's the shit that we on yes, Them niggas gon' pull up and L.A.